Hello! It is my birthday. I'm 25 today, and I thought, why not do the MLB Immaculate Grid on my birthday? I do these every day. I love to play them. I don't always get a perfect score because some of these can be downright hard. But uh, anyway, I'll put it up over here. So my dumbass forgot to screenshot it before I completed it, so I'll link in the description the MLB Immaculate Grid website so that way you can do today's Immaculate Grid with me and it changes every day at 9 a.m. so you can also just you know continue going back and doing different ones every day without further ado let's start this out Cardinals Angels now I know the whole point of this is to get like the lowest score you can for like um whatchamacallit uh, a rarity score but I'm gonna go with the obvious and put Albert Pujols because well I think that's just the one that everybody goes to nowadays when it comes to the Angels and Astros there's gotta be a couple here let me think oh what's the catcher Max uh, Stassi, is that his name? Max Stassi, I feel like that one is correct. Okay, 4%, that one's a little lower than Albert Pujols. Now, uh, 300 saves for the Angels. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is Troy Percival. Um, maybe he did get the 300. Okay, I kind of thought he did, but I, I couldn't think of anybody else on the Angels in their career that got to 300 or at least played for the Angels. Now we got the Cubs and the Cardinals. Again, another one that I think is going to be um, very obvious, Jason Hayward. Only 16%. Okay, there's probably another obvious answer out there somewhere. Oh, John Lackey would be another one, wouldn't it? Yeah, so that one, uh, yeah, happy I got that one. Houston and Chicago. This is another interesting one. I don't think Starling Castro played for the Astros, even though Castro, Astro, would have fit very well. Um, all right, this is when we get lost a little bit. Cubs, 300 career saves. I wouldn't be able to tell you off the top of my head. World Series champ on the St. Louis Cardinals. You know what? I'm going to go with 2006 World Series MVP, David Eckstein, because, yep, 5%. Everybody's going to go with either Albert Pujols if they don't pick him for Cardinals Angels or someone like David Fries, but David Eckstein is another Cardinal, a weird one, that won the World Series MVP. I feel like during the two most recent World Series runs, having Eckstein and Fries win World Series MVP are like the two most random ones. Not that they weren't any good, but they just wouldn't have been your pick to win World Series MVP. And now Houston World Series champ, but we got to go with like most recent ones. Justin Verlander was on both, so there we go. 7%. 300 career saves and World Series champ. Do I just dare go with Mariano Rivera? Again, obvious one, but who else are you going to you know, really think about in there? Because I was going to say Heath Bell, but he never won a World Series. Okay, Cubs and Astros. This is the one I think we want to get first before we go to the 300 career saves for the Cubs. Um, God, again, I feel like there's an obvious one out there where y'all like shouting through the screen at me, but I'm trying to think here. E even like looking back at the Astros NL days, like did they have any moves with the Cubs that were significant? Um, oh, 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 oh. Scott Feldman, right? I think because didn't the Orioles, the Orioles got him from the Cubs, I think, and then after he left the Orioles, he went to the Astros, so I think that's correct. It is, and we got a 0.5%. That is a very good, good thing. That brings our score down, which is what you want. Now, here's where we probably end up not getting the perfect score, because 300 career saves for the Cubs. It doesn't have to be all with the Cubs. It just has to be someone who played for the Cubs that has 300 career saves. Part of me wants to say Kerry Wood, but I don't think he ever got there because he was mainly a starter to begin, and then he became a closer toward the end of his career. So... This one is another one where I think I'm going to get lost on here. But if he's my only choice, I'm going to type it in. And then afterwards, I'm going to see what uh, what the answer is or what the most common answer is, I guess. But there's probably one out there that people are probably screaming at me about. Maybe mm, Car Carlos Marmol? Did he ever get to? I don't think he was. Oh, hmm. I don't think he was around, I mean, he was around for nine years, but did he get the 300? He had a lot of injuries, so I would say no on that one, too. I remember he had, like, two really good years, 
and then just kind of fell off. So I'm not going to go with that one. Do we go with Carrie Wood? I guess I guess we do. I, I cannot for the life of me think of anybody else. And of course, we did not get it. So here's my final board up here. Oh, how did I... Craig Kimbrell. How did I forget that one? I guess I wasn't thinking of that because, again, I was trying to think of, like, people who were, like, Cubs throughout most of their career. But then I said before, they just had to have played for the Cubs at some point. Yeah, Craig Kimbrell, that's right. He's at, like, 400 now, I believe. Oh, yeah, Francisco Rodriguez. I, who did I pick for? Uh, Troy Percival. I forgot Francisco Rodriguez for the Angels also got to 300 saves. And pretty much I got everything else. Um, right? Oh, yeah, Cubs and Astros, Trey Mancini. Okay, yeah, he just got cut by the Cubs, so really wasn't thinking about it. Yeah, how did I forget Angels, Astros, Nolan Ryan? Like, he, that that one should have been obvious to me. Cardinals, Cubs, Wilson Contreras. Okay, so again, I, that's a recent one. I didn't want to go recent, and I got the most common with the Cardinals and Angels, which is Pujols. And then for the World Series champs, people said David Freeze, Jose Altuve, Mariano Rivera. The hardest one for people to get was, okay, Astros, Cubs. I get it. Yeah, I understand that one. Um, and then the second hardest was Astros, Angels. Everything else was pretty easy for people to figure out. And my overall uh, score for the grid is 267. So that's not terrible, but that's not good. Again, I feel like I went with some obvious ones, but I will say the um, Scott Feldman one probably helped me out a little bit there. But yeah, you guys can tell me in the comments below how did you do. And until then, stay safe out there, and I got some videos coming for you soon.